Well, for me, since I have my website, Cool Bites, the motto is keeping it cool, but most importantly, making it really fun. So the way that I always ease into the kitchen, it is, after all, my favorite place to be. <laughs> I've got a roll away standing by. Not quite literally, but what I love to do is to plan a fun theme, and I think that that's a great solution for kids and their families. So let's say we've got movie night on the menu this weekend, you know, on a Saturday night. It's a great way to go to the supermarket together, walk down the aisles, experience and introduce yourself to unorthodox ingredients and flavors and open yourself up to that whole world and then take it back into the kitchen, give everybody a job. So maybe you're making turkey tacos. So that's really fun to have somebody chop up the onions and somebody stirring the turkey meat, somebody's measuring the spices. And then you can really enjoy it together and feel proud of what you've created. That's a great way to get started. And what are some of your personal favorite healthy go-to meals? Oh my gosh, for me, it's like spin the wheel and you just land on the season. So right now as we head into fall, I'm loving soups. They're really warming me up. So I have one recipe for an oriental shrimp and udon soup with lemongrass. That's what I mean about that supermarket safari. And I'm a big Chinese food fan, as it is. So this soup that's lightened up and has whole grain udon noodles, so you can work in the fiber, but also that rich broth. Kids love it, families love it, and myself included on that one. So if you're a college student or a young child and you don't necessarily have, you know, a lot of money, you know, what are some quick meals that you can prepare for not a lot of money? So I would recommend things that don't necessarily need heat if you're a college student in your dorm. And what I love to do, maybe it's like a cool wrapped up Greek salad. So that's a great way to enjoy fun, fresh, bright flavors. Feel like you're getting a taste of the globe with a Greek salad in a tortilla wrap. And then you can do your own homemade Greek dressing, a little squeeze of lemon juice. Easy things that can be assembly based. That's a great way to go. Also really affordable. On my site, Cool Bites, check out a slew of videos and tips and ideas that answer that exact question. Bring those solutions to the table. I guess no pun intended on that front, but that is something that I always think about. All right, let's talk about iCarly. Um, what what are you snacking on during you know the film shoots? Oh, absolutely. So iCarly, some long days on set shooting our show on Nick. We have craft services, and luckily we've been able to introduce some really good for you options. So we always have fresh fruit standing by, um, fresh berries, uh, some veggies, and dip as we start to work our way into the afternoon. But from a cooking perspective, we have a really great quasi focus group made out of the cast members and myself for all my recipes. So I love to bring things in to have everybody taste and sample and try. I love to have cool crunch bars. My homemade take on a granola bar or an energy bar minus the store-bought plastic wrapper. Dried fruits, nuts, a lot more nutritious working in fiber with things like wheat germ and whole wheat flour. That's a great way to give yourself that boost. And what, what do you think is the best way to fight the, uh, um, the uh, obesity epidemic in our country? I'm working with two amazing organizations right now to combat obesity, which of course we know, uh, the statistics prove it, is on the rise here at home and around the world. I've teamed up with Let's Move, which is First Lady Michelle Obama's campaign through the White House, also their USDA My Play campaign. And then in addition to that, something we're celebrating here at the New York City Wine and Food Festival is our Alliance for a Healthier Generation, founded by President Bill Clinton's foundation in tandem with uh, the American Heart Association. And I've created a special menu of healthy, good-for-you lunch recipes, which are now being cooked and served, available every day to 15,000 schools and 30 million students on a daily basis across the United States. So that's a great way to sort of quite literally step over the threshold on the ground, on the scene, and inspire that change. Absolutely. And, um... Oh, what was I going to ask you? Oh, yeah. Um, fitness is another big part of staying healthy. Yeah. What, what do you do to stay fit? Oh, so I am out on the sidewalk every morning on my bicycle, bright and early, or shall I say dark and early at 5.30, 6 a.m. I love to go on a bike ride with my dad. I'm also a big jogging fan. And since we travel so much, we're in the air, we're on the road. I've had to learn and improvise some ways to keep fit in the hotel room or on the go. So it's really great. It's a great way. I think it's very cathartic. And uh, you can spend some time, chill out, and also feel great doing it. You seem um, ridiculously knowledgeable about all this. Where did you learn all of this from? Who are your, you know, in inspirations? Well, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I've watched the Food Network for years. I've always been a major food lover, and I love to get in the kitchen and experiment and create. But about two and a half years ago, I was overweight. I have a family history of diabetes and heart disease. I didn't feel great. I was lacking confidence. So I wanted to turn the kitchen into a science lab. I even have like a test tube spice rack outfitted with 40 different spices. And I love to try and innovate great flavors and better for you cuisine. That's what I'm doing on my website, writing a new book out next year. So please check it out. And it's going to share all these delicious recipes and more. I'm Reed Alexander and guess what? I am super curious about curiosity.com. Surf over. I can't wait to check out all the fantastic tips and ideas you'll find there on this fantastic hub. So please tune in. Thanks so much.